Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Contenders Football. Four box, random division break number three. The final four boxes of the uh, the case that I think Jason did a division earlier today. So there's the four boxes right there. A very big thank you. So yeah, one, two, three are from the same case. No vet common ship, pretty standard stuff. Everyone gets a random division. Big thanks to Gail, Matthew, Thomas, and Jonathan. Getting a ton of spots here. So big thanks to him and thanks to the other three for getting into the action. There are the divisions right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and divisions. Five and a three, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, three more times. Six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we got Gale. Down to some Jonathans. Eight times for the divisions. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we got the AFC South down to the NFC North. All right, Gail, AFC South, Jonathan, AFC West, Thomas, AFC East, Matthew, NFC South, and Jonathan, you have the rest, NFC West, NFC East, AFC North, NFC North. Let's sort this by column B, by division. Any trades? I'm assuming Jonathan is here because he just sold out the break. But is, is Gail or Thomas, Matthew Shear around maybe? We'll give it a few moments for uh, for possible trades. Sometimes when a person when one person buys a lot of divisions, I've seen like two for ones kind of happen if they're trying to chase a particular division. I don't know, we'll see. No, any deals? No deals? Deal or no deal? No. Trade window going once. Trade window going twice. TWC trade window closed. Let's print and let's rip. You have to give me the dates on your Venmo letter. I think you can just search by my telephone, my mobile phone number. Can I? Okay. Should be able to. Give it a shot, see what happens. No rush. Getting the paperwork in is more important just so it's like I have the, that record of it. All right, there you go, thanks everyone. Anyone here watching this live? I think Oliver might still, are you still around Oliver? Anyone else still around? Remember I wrote Div 3 on all of those? I did a, uh, I set up a, a Jaspi team prop pool for the uh, AFC Conference Championships just for funsies. Got a couple pages of props right here, some pretty good stuff. So the first one, you're just picking the sides against the spread. That, and, and I have like point values. I think those are like 20 points. So basically getting the side is the most important thing. And then I have a bunch of props. So this is the, so here's, if you want to play along, you can. The most passing yards across both games, both conference championship games. Who do you think will have the most passing yards and your choices are obviously the quarterback. Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Josh Allen, and then I combined Mahomes and Henny. When I originally did this, I didn't know if, what Mahomes' status was gonna be. Most passing yards.
No, Seahawks cards just go to the Sea. That's right, they were in the AFC West a long time ago. No, Seahawks cards go to the Seahawks. So, like, if Steve Largent was here, he would still go to the Seahawks to the NFC uh, West. I don't think Steve Largent is in here. You think Rodgers most passing yards of all the quarterbacks? I'm inclined to say... I think it's probably going to be Roger. I'm I'm kind to say Tom Brady if they if they're behind. They're just going to be he's just going to be slinging it to Mike Evans and Chris Godwin all day long, right? That's numbered right there. That's Jeff Okuda, 225 for the NFC North. No, no one else wants to play? All right, just, just you and me, Oliver. Most rushing yards. There are your choices for most rushing yards. Circle one, or any other player. Who's going to have the most rushing yards over both games? Any player from both games. We've got uh, Desmond Patman, 72 out of 99, playoff ticket. Autograph going to the AFC South, Gail. Okay, with the first auto. Remember, points will be randomized to one person as one lot. It'll be grouped together, if any. There's Tyree Cleveland. Cleveland, this is for you. It's actually for Denver. That's the AFC West. That's going to be Jonathan Peets. There you go, Jonathan. Oliver, you say Aaron Jones? Even with Vita Vea back? Vita Vea and Dominican Sue up front? You think Aaron Jones still gets his? But then again, I don't know how many touches Leonard Fournette and Ronald Jones are going to get. You know what? Sean said something clever. Which is a first for Sean. <laughs> hey uh, Darnay Holmes, DH, going to the NFC East. Jonathan Peets. He he's arguing, he's arguing Josh Allen. Which I think it's kind of a spicy pick. Josh Allen with the most rushing yards, so he's picking any other player here. Because he thinks Leonard Fournette and Ronald Jones are going to be splitting. Right? There's Jake from State Farm. Aaron Jones and Jamal Williams are going to get neutralized by. Uh, by that Tampa Bay defensive front, Vita Vea and uh, Indomic and Sue. He's saying Singletary and Yeldon Buffalo doesn't run. Clyde Edwards Hilaire is banged up. Daryl Williams, what is he going to do? Right? So he's going to any other player. Woo! One out of five, Jerry Rice. I thought I was going to get trolled. I saw the card flipped around. I was like, oh, that's just going to be like an insert. Panini's going to troll me. No. One out of five, Jerry Rice autograph. NFC West, Jonathan Peets. There you go, Jonathan. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice. Yeah, the rice is nice. And we got Anthony McFarlane Jr. A little bit of a soft corner right there, but nice on-card autograph for the Steelers AFC North. Jonathan Peets. Do we like this guy, Steelers fans? I think all, Oliver, Steelers fan. We're talking about Steelers receiving situation just off camera. Oliver says Aaron Jones for most rushing yards. And we'll do a. I'll try to remember to do a recap at the end. All right, next box. What about most receptions? Most receptions. So I pretty much took I think wide receiver one and two and just put it on the list. I didn't put that much thought into this. Um, maybe he could be the Anthony, Anthony McFarland could be answer to the running game. Most receptions, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin. 
Devontae Adams, Allen Lazard, Stephon Diggs, Cole Beasley, Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, or any other player? It's got to be. Oh, you're saying Devontae. I yeah, I would say Kelsey. Buffalo is a little soft defending the, uh, the, the, the tight ends from what I understand and what I've seen. What about most receiving yards? Same, same group of players. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Devontae Adams, Alan Lazard, Stephon Diggs, Cole Beasley, Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, or any other player. Most receiving yards. Green Bay's going to be cold. Brad L. saying high of negative two with snow in Green Bay. What about Kansas City? Yeah, I, th I think Tyreek Hill might be the popular. He can just go off. But sometimes you got to go oppo on some of these props to try to win a pool, right? I think this is where I would go like Chris Godwin or something random. I don't know. Somewhere we got to go oppo to, you know, oppo public to try to to try to get those points. All right, page two for the Jaspi employee championship pool. Oh, okay. So these are game total props. Does anyone have at least three hundred passing? Does any quarterback have at least three hundred passing yards in both games? Three hundred's kind of a lot. There's Ross Blacklock, so then you might pick any other player on that list there, Oliver. Does any quarterback over or go at, have at least three hundred passing yards across both games? Oliver says yes. I'm inclined to say yes, but I'll bet it'll be <laughs> watch it'll be no. Like every quarterback with like with the weather and stuff, every quarterback with like two hundred and seventy yards or something like that. Three hundred is kind of a lot if you think about it. There's Albert Okwebanum for the AFC West. Oh, AFC South gets the Black Lock. That'll be for Gale, and the AFC South. AFC West is Jonathan. He'll get the Albert Okwebanum. Does anyone have at least a hundred rushing yards? There's points right there. We'll randomize it to someone in the break. I feel like these are all... I would, I, I would, I would almost say I'm leaning no on will anyone have 100 rushing yards. Oliver says no, too. There's Colin Johnson, AFC South Gale. What's up, Trevor? Receiving yards. Does anyone have at least 100 receiving yards? I guess if you're saying someone's going to have 300 passing yards, you would think that someone has at least 100 receiving yards, maybe? But I don't know. Brad said there's snow in Green Bay. How much receiving is actually going to happen? There's a two a card. Yeah, Oliver says yes on the receiving. There's Tua, AFC East, Thomas. There's Brian Edward, that's my boy. Championship ticket, Raiders. Four out of 25, Brian Edwards on card autograph, AFC West, Jonathan Peets. I don't think he really showed what he could, he could potentially do last year, so hopefully he's just gonna marinate a little bit, evolve a little bit as a player. And we'll do uh, left-right randomizers on these at the end. We got a Ray Lewis. What time is it? Game time to 1:49. AFC North. Receptions. Will anyone have at least seven receptions? Again, seven is kind of a lot if you think about it.
Yes. All right, so Oliver likes the likes the overs on a lot of these. Um, defense wins championships is the next category. TD from an interception, fumble recovery, kick return, punt return, circle one, defense or special teams. Um, will Tampa Bay, will any of the teams have, I mean, they're basically yes or no's for every team, but will any team have a TD, a touchdown from an interception, fumble recovery, kick return, or punt return? You say definitely? You think someone's going to be have a pick six, a scoop and score? A kick return, punt return? Those don't happen very often. Light rain in Kansas City. Seven degrees, light rain, says Brad L. Ooh, that's bold. Those don't happen very often. Let alone in a conference championship game. Uh, both the, the the prop that I created is is will there be a touchdown from an from an interception a fumble recovery kick return or punt return yes or no Tampa Bay yes or no Green Bay yes or no Buffalo yes or no Kansas City yes or no Oliver so okay okay you're Oliver saying no no defensive TDs or special teams TDs yeah I don't think there's going to be any either I would I, I would. Yeah, I would maybe put yes on Kansas City, but let's see. And then the last category, kickers are people too. Um, will any game have at least three successful field goals? There's Dearness Johnson. And so weather comes into play on those. How many field goals are there going to be? AFC North, Dearness Johnson. Cleveland, this is for you. And then there's John Greenland for the Houston Texas AFC South Gale. Um, yeah, so basically, yes, Brad. So a, a non-offensive TD. Any turnover-related TD or that? I don't have, yeah, I don't have a sacks prop. There's Joe Reed on the sheet. Should have, maybe, maybe for the Super Bowl when I work this. Joe Reed has a nice autograph. Good penmanship there. AFC West, Jonathan. Let's see if we can find his teammate. I know, Trevor. I saw you say that three different times, yes. But if you're familiar with contenders, uh, then you shouldn't be surprised at all. Hey, we love it. Jordan Love, Jay Hart. NFC North, Jonathan Peets. You think Tampa's going to kick some field goals, Joe? In that snow? Brad L's reporting snow in Green Bay. And there's Russell Wilson to 149, winning ticket. Winning, going to the NFC West, Jonathan Peets. And we've got a 90 out of 99 playoff ticket. Richard Lawrence, NFC West. Jonathan. So again, I don't have a sack prop, Brad, but that's a good question. There's, oh, that's just a regular card, Leighton Van Der Esch. Um, it's a variation either. Brad's asking total sacks. Of all four teams. 
I don't know, how many sacks do you think there will be? Both Brady and... Both Brady and... Uh, Aaron Rodgers are have pretty quick releases. I don't know if they're... They may get pressured, but I don't know if they're taking sacks. I, I could see, like, maybe one or one sack one or two sacks for the for both teams there maybe one on each side now buffalo and kansas city see now josh allen runs around a little bit so does mahomes so if the, i guess a sack would be behind the line of scrimmage right so if if they're running around and they get knocked down that could be a sack. There may be more sacks in that game. Maybe there, yeah. So I actually like that number, Oliver. Five. I love contenders, Trevor. Contenders is great. These rookie autos, if you get... I mean, when people are talking about, hey, do you have that rookie auto? What, what, what's like the main rookie auto? Contenders, Prism, Select. I mean, th those are the kind of products, like outside of the uh, the patch auto products, you know, when you're just talking about the regular autos, like look at what the Tom Brady Contenders auto is going for, you know, like stuff like that. So there's a lot of, a lot, a lot of uh, respect for the Contenders brand has just been around for so long. All right, final box, and then we'll do the randomizer for the points and the round numbers, left-right randomizer for the round numbers cards. We got Adam Trotman for the NFC South. That's going to be Saints, NFC South, Matthew Shira. Right, the best is the low-level player that bro that blows up. And yeah, Tom Brady was was probably the best example of that. We got John Grenard, Houston Texans, AFC South, Gale. Was Romo another one? Where where was Romo drafted? I forget what round he was drafted. Here's Aaron Rodgers. I'm not sure if he's gonna be running around like that though. Not as much anyway. Maybe under on Aaron Rodgers rushing yards. There's James Proche. Baltimore Ravens AFC North Jonathan Yes Trevor we saw a Philip Rivers clear auto a couple breaks ago But yeah there's a lot of value in this um, in this contenders Ooh look at this Justin Jefferson on card rookie ticket autograph NFC North Jonathan If there wasn't another Justin around, Justin Herbert, Justin Jefferson might have had a shot at the Offensive Rookie of the Year. There is Le'Veon to 99. 87 out of 99. There's a number down there for the Jets. Still Jets edition. AFC East Thomas. Should have one more autograph here. And there it is. It's Logan Wilson. Rookie auto for the Bengals AFC North. Jonathan. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Not not too shabby of a four-box break. Unfortunately, I've not been able to cross out any any additional uh, faces on my contender's bingo card. 
but maybe in the next break, let's keep hunting. You know, we'll have to. It'll be Sean who can who might be able to complete the Jaspie's bingo card. He'll have to, he'll have to be the one. So continue to fill breaks with him on jaspiescasebreaks.com. Thanks very much, everybody. Let's do a quick uh, quick bit of randomizing here. So there's some new dice. There's a blank list. Let's get a second one here. So first, we're going to do the left-right randomizer, and then everyone has a shot at the little consolation, the 250 points. Let's get those names in here. One dice roll for both lists. It's going to be eight times, three and a five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, right side. So right side cards will get the uh, the rules round numbers. And once again, eight times, name on top gets the 250 points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. It's Jonathan P. Certainly had the odds. There you go, Jonathan. Thanks for grabbing those spots. We got 250 points going your way. Let's keep. Uh, let's let's find three other guys to fill up the bingo card, ladies and gentlemen. Should be a lot of fun. The next four box division break is going to be. Here's a recap too. Next four box division break is going to be from a fresh case. So we can pop open a so fresh and so clean case, and then we can hunt for some more monsters. Cracked ices out of uh, out of contenders are extremely popular, so we're looking for that. Nice Jerry Rice, Three, one out of five, so we can find some old school guys in there too. Retired players, Hall of Famers, so all sorts of fun stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.